What's, What's up, drinkers? drinkers? And welcome back. <laughs> Today, we're trying four different unique beers from Alphabet Brewing in Manchester. So, it was recently my birthday and I was very kindly gifted these beers from Alphabet Brewing. Got some wacky designs on and some interesting flavour combos. <laughs> um, I, I like the colours. Yeah. Certainly stand out on a shelf. Yeah. I know. I'm not a big beer drinker, so I'm interested to see if there's one that I like. <laughs> As I'm just interested in them in general. <laughs> so should we get started? Yeah. This is the first one we're going to try called Charlie Don't Surf, which is a session IPA. What does that mean? It means it's uh, in. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a good flame. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my, my beer knowledge. It's very pale. Cheers. Pretty nice. Well, that's Pretty quite smooth. doable. Yeah, it's not very. doesn't seem very alcoholic. No. What percentage we on? 4% standard. Standard beer. It's very smooth. Not Cre kind of creamy. Creamy, not too hoppy. Very pleasant. Mm, I drink that. Yeah, it's quite a quite a tame ale. Yeah, but still. But it's an IPA. Quite nice. It's an IPA different from an ale. Indian pale ale. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Next up, A to the K. A to the K. Which is an American <laughs> pale ale. And it says. Love those oats on the side. So maybe is it? Oh, oats. Oatmeal pale ale. Hmm. Interesting. It's like the man piss yellow. <laughs> <laughs> like piss yellow. Mm hmm. Maybe my. <laughs> Good shit. Yes. Kind of similar. A little different. What's the end flavour? End flavour. There's like yeah. something almost coffee-y. I mean, you're going to tell me or tell me I'm probably wrong, but it kind of has a like coffee flavour. I'm not guessing that. <laughs> I told you to tell me I was wrong. You're not wrong, it's whatever your experience is. Mm. Do you know what that is? It's... What do you think? Oh, it's quite thick. Like my... Thick? Yeah, my... <laughs> Feels... How does it compare to the previous? I think I like this one more. A bit more beery, isn't it? A bit, it feels a bit more substantial. Yeah, I think it has like a... Mm, uh, I'm not a beer expert. Like it has more of a... Um, it has more of depth of flavour, there we go. Definitely. Whilst yeah. that one feels a bit more like light and bit of a, It's almost a lager, the, the previous was one. Well, I don't know, I don't know. I'm telling you. Okay, it's <laughs> like a lager. <laughs> What's next, William? So, next up is Juice Springsteen. Great name. <laughs> this is a tropical IPA. If you saw that name on the list, would you be like, yeah, I'll support Juice Springsteen? <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh no, I, I like that a lot. Ooh. That's so nice. It's a cidery, even almost. Yeah, it's definitely um, it's lemony, a kind of like kind of Thatcher's, like yeah, sort of uh, like a Thatcher's apple, the cloudy Thatcher's cider. Apple Not mm. particularly tropical flavours. I'm getting more of like country garden flavour. Yeah, English, English summer garden. I'm not the um, biggest fan of this one. Oh. No, I would say this is mine. You'd put it third out of the three. Yeah. Uh, whoa, I'd put this number one. This mm. is like... There's more. Most drinkable. No, it kind of smells a bit... No, I get it. There is a smell. I'm gone off. What's next? So next up we've got Hook, Lime and Sinker, which is a lime and chilli goes. I've never heard of a goes before. Sorry, I've got the burps. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, it's just a type of beer that's traditionally brewed in a certain area of Germany. Certainly, last but not least. Yeah, lime and chilli. Beer. I certainly had lime and chilli chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. 
Does it have chocolate? <laughs> Um, no. no. Coriander. Coriander, lime, chilli and peppers. They're all very... That's a lot. Oh yeah, I didn't forget about that. <laughs> just taste it. Cheers. Cheers. A bit darker than the others. Oh my god, the smell. I've not even taken a sip yet. Well. That does not taste like a beer. No. That tastes like... A lime drink, like a... Yeah, this is very interesting. It like, when you take a smell, it hits you. The, the spice. It's not spicy. I mean, it's a bit spicy. It sort of smells like peppers and... Um, but it's not, no, it's not spicy. It's sort of fruity, it's... Like, yeah, definitely fruity, very limey. What do you think? I, I think I like it. I don't know how much I could drink. Yeah, this one is a bit of a... A strange one. I think I'd definitely like if I was at a beer tasting, I'd be like, oh, wow, that was, oh, that was very nice. different. Because <laughs> um, like when you taste beer, sometimes they all merge into themselves, into the same kind of yeah. taste. Whereas these have been quite. I could I could probably tell the difference. Yeah, you could do a blindfold test with these if you. I don't know about the them. first two if I'd be able to tell yeah. the difference, but the the second the last two have been like very much. Yeah, it's a good selection, isn't it? Yeah. Your dad did well. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Kind of soapy though at the same time. Maybe that's the coriander. Okay, so now I've tasted them all. Uh, William, as it's, as it's as it was your gift, do you want to rank them from your favourite to your least favourite? Oh, least right. favourite is not necessarily bad. But just add the set. Yes. I think, I really, really like this one. Very nice, refreshing. Have that again. This one is going either third or second. Mm -hmm. This one, the tropical IPA. Mm, I think that's definitely after that. And then sort of where where does this go? I think it's it's going third. Oh, you're you're like a normie, and then yeah, interesting. See, I'm not I'm not as much into those. I'm also. Was yours just being like the opposite way around? Yeah, I literally think. I'd, I'd move these in best to worst. But mine would have been. Yeah. Best to worst. Yeah. Mm. I mean, at least that means they'll all get drunk. I mean, they're, they're definitely getting drunk anyway. But, uh, <laughs> I said drunk. <laughs> drunk. We'll all enjoy them. Yeah, of course. They're really nice. If you want to go get yourself. Um, yeah, they're all from Alphabet Brewing. Yeah, a Manchester-based brewery, so support your local businesses, especially right now. See you next time. See you in the next one. <laughs>